Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about two other very important functions about the screenshots and PDF, right? Now, if you have already watched my Selenium with Java tutorial series, you would have already gone through the pain points of taking screenshot and there is a lot of setup that, that we need to do, right? In order to take screenshot. So how easy it is to take screenshot in Karate UI, that's what we are going to see. And embedding a screenshot in the report is kind of automatic. You can disable it, enable it. So it's very easy to basically take screenshot and also save the PDF, right? So let's quickly see what screenshot functions and PDF functions will do for us in Karate Framework. So if we go to the screenshot, there are two forms, right? If the locator will be provided. So if, say for example, you want to take screenshot of only specific locator, say for example, there is a text box, you would just want to capture the screenshot for that text box, then you just provide the locator within these parentheses. Okay. If you don't provide any locator, the HTML, the whole entire browser viewport will be captured. Okay. So the full page basically, we'll see that in action. So don't worry about that. Now, by default, it automatically embeds the screenshot into the HTML report. So whatever report that gets generated you, in the previous tutorial as well, I have shown that it auto automatically gets embedded. Okay. So if you want to, so usually in the case of failures, it gets a screenshot will get taken and embedded. But then if you want to take screenshot at any step, this is the function that you are going to use, right? And this is the one, if you specify any of the locator, it will only take screenshot of that particular locator or that particular web element, right? Now, if you want to disable the auto embedding, right? So say, for example, in the reports, you don't want to embed all these uh, screenshots. You just want to take screenshot and then save it somewhere, but do not want to embed. Then you just have to pass an additional argument as false. Okay. So simply say whatever uh, you use the function screenshot and then pass the argument false and it won't embed in the report. This is for the particular web element if you do not want to embed it in the report. Okay. Now the call to screenshot returns a Java byte array. Okay. So that's the byte array. Now what you have to do is if you want to say, for example, I'm taking a screenshot. Okay. Then it will, you can basically store that or define a variable and store that into the the screenshot into the byte array and then you can basically write it into, into any png file or any uh, file so for example here so we are basically what we are doing is we are simply saying karate dot write and whatever screenshot we have captured we are just writing it to a particular file all right and then you can save um, basically whatever the file you can say screenshot save to this file so after that you can use that so let's quickly understand all of these in the program okay so i'll go to this particular page so i'll say driver dot title i'll use the same old code and i'll copy this one and here i'll say screen shot okay or we'll say capture screenshot okay so capture underscore screenshot dot feature i'll close this driver dot title and i'll say capture screenshot so now what everything else is going to remain same now if say for example after we are launching this particular page driver dot title okay uh, sorry driver and then opening this training dot rcvacademy dot com i want to take screenshot and embed it into the report so what i'll do is i'll simply so delay i'll put maybe later okay so i'll simply say star and then screenshot right that's pretty much it and in the screenshot now when i will use screenshot what it will do is it will simply take the screenshot of the page that is loaded okay and embed it into the report as we have seen here so if you simply use this screenshot as is then it will automatically perform this karate dot embed in the html report Okay. Now, if I want to go to this page, all right, I want to go to this page and I only want to take the screenshot of, say, for example, 
this get access button okay so let me inspect this particular web element right so i have to inspect the locator or find the locator of this particular button get access okay so if i just right click and inspect and this is a sort of highlighted and simply copy the x path okay let me see what the x path is okay so this is a really not a very good x path so we have to basically write it right so you can see that there is some dynamic it could be some dynamic attribute right so this this could change in the page reload so let's see what we can do in order to write this particular x path so this is the anchor right so this is the anchor so i'll say starts with anchor and then there is a text get access there okay so i'll simply say text is equal to and text is get access and close it so you will see that now this particular button x path is there okay so i'll highly recommend you to watch the x path and css selector series wherein you will get all these tips and tricks and master x path and css selector how you are going to write it right so i've quickly explained this here but then in detail you need to learn okay so i'll simply copy this x path and now i have taken screenshot first okay now then second screenshot i want to just take the screenshot of uh, the particular web element right so i'll simply say screenshot and within the parenthesis i will simply pass the locator of the web element that i want, that I want to take screenshot for okay and that's pretty much it okay so let's see when we run this particular test that this page will get launched okay and then the screenshot will be taken the full screenshot should get embedded and then again another screenshot for only a particular web element which is the button get access on the page this one and this should get embedded into the report as well okay so let me run this and and here just consider this star basically as the and right so what we are doing is given we are opening the browser and opening this url and we are taking screenshot and then we are putting a delay of five seconds and we are taking screenshot of the web element right so let me run this now so it is opening training.rcvacademy.com opened the page and it should take the screenshot first it will take the screenshot of the whole page and then it will take a screenshot of the specific web element that we have specified here in the second one so the execution has finished let me refresh this target folder and open the karate summary.html okay so let me open this and maximize a little bit and let's see what is the result of this screenshot right so you can see that the screenshot of this page has been captured here right and then the next one you will see that the only web element right get access web element screenshot is taken and embedded in the report okay so this is basically how easy it is to take screenshots in karate ui automation framework okay if you want full screen simply use screenshot method okay and if you want only specific web element to be taken the screenshot for a specific web element you need to provide the locator of that particular web element in this particular parenthesis here okay now what else is there what else can we do with this screenshot function right so we have understood this one now if you want to disable auto embedding we do not want to embed the screenshot automatically okay then simply provide one more argument comma separated and argument false okay so here if we do not want to embed this full page screenshot we'll simply provide the argument as false in this case okay and here we'll say comma separated and provide the argument false that's pretty much it if you do not want to embed this screenshot in the report here so what it will do is it will take the screenshot but it won't embed it here okay so let me embed one and not embed the get access one okay let me run this and see how the report will look like without embedding a screenshot so it is opened uh, the training.rcvacademy.com the first screenshot will be the full sort of page okay uh, that you see on the screen and the second one will also be taken but that won't be embedded into the report so let the execution finish and then i'll refresh this report okay so you can see the report has been refreshed 
and the first one has been embedded here okay but the second one hasn't been embedded anymore because we have provided the argument as false there do not embed the screenshot for this particular web element in the report so that's why it has passed the screenshot has been taken but it is not embedded okay what else is there in the screenshot function that you need to learn so basically if say for example you want to you you have taken the screenshot but that hasn't been embedded so i can write it to some file okay so i can say for this particular web element that ha that i haven't embedded okay so what i'll do is i'll simply say so this one i haven't embedded into the report but then i can simply store it right so i can because we know that screenshot function returns the java byte array okay so we can basically store it in the variable any variable that you want to specify so we can say def we will define a variable okay and we'll say byte ar something like this and store this screenshot whatever screenshot has been taken here for the web element into a byte ar okay this is the variable name and then we are basically defining that file right so we can we the next step is to define a file which we want to store right so so for example karate dot write what we are writing we are writing the byte array that is returned here with the screenshot function into a file which file we want to write we want to say for example write in test dot png okay or let's say screenshot dot png okay and then the third one we are just printing screenshot save to whatever file right so this is the variable that we have defined for the screenshot file okay so there will be a message that screenshot has been saved to this file so if i run this now as a cucumber feature let's see what the outcome is and what the report says so it has opened training.rcvacademy.com first screenshot will be for the page that will be embedded second one we have passed the argument as false that won't be embedded right but then we are storing that screenshot because it will return a byte array we are storing that into the variable byte array, byte ar and then we are doing karate dot write and writing that byte array into the screenshot.png file and then that file will be basically saved so if we go to the report here if we refresh this okay so first screenshot is there and then if you see the second one okay so write to file and then you will see target screenshot.png so if you uh, see here okay so here we'll say refresh this folder and you'll see a screenshot.png file is available here okay so this has been written and you will see the screenshot has been saved to where what, whatever location this particular file because the reports will by default get saved where in karate framework it goes into the target folder right so we have just specified the file name so by default the file name will be stored in, into the target folder and if you open this screenshot.png you will see that get access screenshot is being saved it is not embedded in the report right the second one if you see here it is not embedded in the report because we have passed the argument as false but we have saved the screenshot into target screenshot.png name and it's available there okay so this is basically what all you can do with this screenshot function very important very helpful and very easy to use lot easier as compared to the selenium with java framework that we have learned you will need a lot of configuration to do in order to embed the screenshot embed it into the report right so with the new features coming in selenium 4 there are few um, additions and updates and maybe in future there will be more easy uh, options in selenium 4 as well but karate is kind of uh, i would say a winner in this particular case in terms of taking screenshots and embedding and not embedding right so it's kind of all out of the box you just need to understand what you need to use which function you need to use in order to take the screenshots of the screen or the web element okay so that's all about the screenshot function in karate ui how you are going to take screenshot and embed into the report i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching